well, we, you don't have to apologize yeah. to us, but we, we love you regardless. But uh, <laughs> do, do you, do you, are you super hard on yourself? Like, do you always stress about like when you film something afterwards, you're like recreating the moments and the scenes. Do you still do that? Oh, oh sure. Yeah. I can tear myself apart by the time I get home. Yeah. I think like, oh, what did I do? How oh do you God. shut it off? How do you just let it go? You think at your age by now, you would be able to think, right? Well, because you know, it, I, I'm asking this because I want to have some kind of semblance of hope that when I maybe I turn 60s, 70s, I'll stop giving a shit. But you don't stop giving a shit. Right. But sometimes I get uh, overly uh, paranoid. I, I have a tendency to, uh, for paranoia. I think it came from hiding so long, from hiding about who I really am. Your sexuality. Huh? Your sexuality. Your sexuality, yeah. Yeah, I had to. I pretended for a long time. And what was so interesting was that, that I remember confessing to my, to my, um, my, my relatives down in Virginia, my uh, cousin Patty, who's nine years older than me, known me since I was born. I mean, she was nine when I was born. So I've known her forever. And I confessed to her why I sort of lost communication because I was living with somebody and I, my mother wanted it to stay among the family, which meant the three of us. And she just looked at me and she said, Oh, Johnny, we've known you've been gay since you were a little boy. <laughs> wow. It doesn't, such love doesn't that she, make you feel sad that you lost so much contact when she would have really understood you or she did understand yeah, you? Yeah. yeah. That was, yeah that's what's heartbreaking. Time, waste of time. And that's why I sort of, I guess when it came time to just to, to stop it, I just stopped. And I, but I still sometimes feel like uh, second rate because of it. What do you yeah, mean second the, rate? Well, it's because I'm, I'm different than the other boys. It was, it was hard, especially when it got to junior high school and, and high school and stuff when, you know, I was uncomfortable. So, but I found, I found my strength in the theater. I, I uh, we, we, we did a, uh, Lilium, uh, uh, the play called Lilium, which was the uh, carousel was based on that musical, and and you had re readings in the cafeteria, and I just read one little line. I thought I did it really well, but they didn't notice me. So I got on the crew to to change the stage. It was platforms in the cafeteria. It was in the round, so people had to carry things on and off. And I got a, a black derby cap and a and a black turtleneck and black pants. And I came out and started moving the furniture and people started laughing at me. So I don't know what I was doing, but I was behaving in a way I didn't say a word. But by the end of the show, I was getting big laughs. And I thought the teacher was going to be really, really mad at me. But she gave me the play, uh, the lead in the play the next year. <laughs> wow. I guess. And I could make people laugh. I had I had a control. Something happened and 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 they weren't. I was making them laugh and, and they were laughing at me, enjoying themselves. And it felt so good. Especially probably because you were going through such a tough time. I know. You know, I hiding know. Was, that this is a chance. Power. Right, yeah. right. This I is could, your power. I could be somebody else and they would appreciate that. Did you? But it was the yeah. me. I remember once, I, 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 Carol Kane was a good friend of mine. Is loved a good her, friend of loved mine. her. And she was, uh, um, um, what, um, um, you know the blonde, the blonde, uh, the blonde girl from from Terry Gar. Somehow, I I got alone with Terry Gar in her house. You've never seen me. I I felt so uncomfortable, like I should be somebody that I should be some man here with Terry Gar in the house, and I was like this gay guy that didn't know what to say to her. <laughs> I would just made myself so uncomfortable. I make myself uncomfortable around Bernadette Peters. I, I have such a crush on her. And I saw her when she was in high school and one of the first things she did in New York. So, and, and I got to, um, to do a, uh, we did a TV movie together. So I got to play with her and I just would go, blah, 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 blah. And once we were all sitting around talking and, and, and she said, I have a sister. And I said, I'm an only child. And she said, oh, no wonder you're a little chatterbox. 